Usually, before it rains, we know it's going to rain. Before there's a snowstorm, we are warned that a snowstorm is coming and advised to prepare for the snowstorm. If it's going to be a severe storm, then we are cautioned to stay off the roads and can even be fined if found driving on the roads outside of an emergency. Stress is something that we can't control, just like the weather. But if we take, an, take a personal account of where the stress is coming from, we can better manage and better be prepared for the way that we respond to it. This message is about prioritizing your stress. Now stress comes through our career path or the lack thereof, education or the lack thereof, our relationships or the lack thereof. On each side of the coin, there is some level of stress. Do you understand that? A babe in Christ, there are stressors that come spiritually with not knowing all that we need to know to, to, to uh, Get ourselves prepared for things in the spiritual realm. Being a prayer warrior, there's a certain level of stress that comes with that as well. So no matter where you are, how advanced or under advanced you are in any walk of life, be it your career, be it in relationships, your marriage, as a parent, as a sibling, as a child, we all have strengths and weaknesses that clash within us or with others that create an environment for stress. Today I want you to think about what those stresses are in your life. I'd like for you to make a list. A list of things that are severely stressful, things that are moderately stressful, and things that are slightly stressful. And the latter of the three, slightly stressful, I think you will find that those are more than likely stressors that kind of go along with pushing us to do what it is that we have to get done in the course of the day. And those are the kind of stresses that you just can't eliminate. Case in point, life is busy. You have to get to work. Something happens to cause you to leave your house five or ten minutes late. You run into traffic that you may not have run into prior to if you had left earlier, that can be stressful because now the whole dynamic of commuters that are heading in the direction that you're heading in shifts. People are more tense when they're compiled and they can't move at the rate that they're accustomed to moving. And then you say, if I had gotten out sooner and then you drive just a little bit more erratically, just a little bit and it changes the game for you. And for something as simple as that, just purposing to get out sooner can eliminate such a stress. But then there will be days when you can't get out sooner. And so what you can do is say to yourself, perhaps it is a blessing that I left later rather than earlier. And I will just take it slow, get there safely when I get there, have a viable explanation purpose that it won't happen habitually and go on about your blessed day. That's one example. Having a shift in your mindset and perspective towards the things that take place throughout the course of the day, knowing that God is God and he's in control. So no matter what happens in that day, it's sort of predestined, already written, and that you have to play your part throughout the course of the day from a positive perspective. I spoke about in the other video on coping with stress about determining who you are as a creature, as a human being, as humankind. Determine who you are. Establish that at the start of each day. Determine that you are happy, you're blessed, you're peaceful, and that you will not allow whatever happens in this day to rob you of the peace that has been promised to you. That surpasses all understanding. Like, for example, when all heck breaks loose throughout the course of the day, it should be expected that you respond to stress differently. But when you set the tone for your day, 
and you command your day with your tongue because we have to understand that the truth is hands down there is life and death in the power of the tongue and when you know that and you exercise power and control over that weapon of yours you become better and better at it and you come into a realization that you really do have the power to tame and control many of the things that take place in the course of your day. Back to those three lists. Extreme stress, stress that is, you know, excruciating. Moderate stress and stress that is something that you can cope with. What you wanna do is look at that list of extreme stress. It could be, let's start at home married or single. If you're single, you could be dealing with issues concerning that. Married, issues concerning your relationship. But changing the way that you think about being single, whether it be positive or negative, understand that God has you where he has you for a reason. And if there's anything you can do to change it towards the direction that you prefer, some prefer to be single, I don't know. If you desire to be married and to walk in agreement with your soulmate, then you might want to look at yourself, the way that you think and move and speak, and begin to declare life over yourself as a soulmate awaiting his or her soulmate. And believe that you can speak the difference in your life and change it. As a married person, rather you be in a unit that is beautiful or tarnished or abusive, remember change your perspective realize who you are in god and exercise who you are in god remain a light remain humble and remain positive and just be steadfast in that thing do not allow if on the negative side a negative mate to drive you to places that you are not designed to go you are an epistle seen in red of all men and you are the light and the salt of the earth and you are or daughter or son of the Most High God. That means that you are to walk at peace and to be at peace. So if someone is yelling at you, don't yell back. If they're cursing at you, don't curse back. You may think that that's weak, but that is power under control like nobody's business. It works, trust me. I've used it and exercised it and it works. It works on the job because people on the job will come to challenge you. I've been in work environments where people have the nerve, the unprofessional audacity to use profanity in the workplace and see businesses are supposed to be modeled after after the church in case you didn't know so you are not supposed to behave unseemly in a professional environment but what happens is men take matters into their own likings and do them and when they do them it creates a hostile work environment which is not healthy for anyone that creates a toxic environment that can be stressful back to the list because I'm kind of going off Create that list. And the things that you can change begin to change. If it's work, you may decide that, listen, I'm valuable. And as long as I'm walking in peace and being a light, if the environment around me doesn't change, then my God, because of my obedience and my discipline, will open a door for me that no man can close. Believe me, it's principle. It works. It is the law of God. It works. Anything you go to him asking for, especially as a person walking in obedience, which is greater than sacrifice, he's going to respond to your needs and take care of you. If it's, you know, your children, obviously, there's a way to deal with those kind of stressors as well. And if it's your relationship, like I said, there's an approach to that. If it's on the job, there's an approach to that. There are certain things that you just can't throw out. You can't throw out your job because you have to be able to meet your overhead needs. You can't throw out your marriage because, you know, that's a spiritual connection and you guys are one. And if by chance it can be worked out and it's not an abusive setting, then, you know, work it out. You got to be a selfless person. Um, but there are some things that you just don't have to deal with. And they should probably wind up in that middle list. People who just really bring stress into your life that you could do without. Process of elimination. But the first step is prioritizing those stressors. Prioritize and make three separate lists for what's 
really ruffling your feathers and what's got your panties in a bunch and you got to do the deal due diligence you cannot be afraid to make hard decisions hard decisions lead to new opportunities and God loves someone with a good old backbone someone that can stand strong as a beautiful light as as a, a beautiful soul as a beacon beacon of love you would beacon of light you know just a vessel of love you know it, it's so attractive and it's so powerful and it, it is so um, I think it's like almost contagious like people catch it after a while acting ugly has played out it's not really that cool you know what I'm saying but when they see a person that has their stuff together and they have the spirit of excellence upon them and anytime you're commanding your day each day in the morning you're walking in excellence you're walking in light you're being that salt you're being the flavor of the earth and, and you are just pushing love out there and refusing to be moved you are a powerful person and you will beat the odds of the stress that is stacked against you each day is a new day with things that we have to face we don't know what they are but make your list and begin with the process of elimination. I'm sure things will get better. I'm Sonia Ward. Find me at www.themediamixer.com. I want to thank you for visiting my channel and listening to my video. Go ahead and click like if you do and give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Hopefully they will be able to benefit from the information that I've shared. Process of elimination. That is the best way to begin to manage stress so that it doesn't get the best of 